What a surprise, folks. Today we're talking about the Nintendo Direct and the Nintendo Switch 2. This time all in the same video because we have some brand new rumors from you coming from a well-known Nintendo insider known as Nate the Hate with a tinge from John Linneman from Digital Foundry. And look, today's news, this video, is either going to make you really excited or you're going to be really disappointed and I don't think there's a lot in between. Now remember, as we're talking about rumors, this is all unverified information. You should definitely kind of just look at this with an air of speculation. However, obviously, if the one thing comes true, then probably start to expect the second thing. So what are we talking about? Well, Nate Hay dropped a brand new episode of his podcast, and he went ahead and gave some details on things that he expects, sees, wants, desires from the Direct or from Switch 2, including some things about what we didn't know. Uh, let's first dive into what he had to say about next week's rumored Nintendo Direct. So Nate the Hate suggests that the Nintendo Direct won't be a general Direct, but actually is going to end up being a partner showcase Direct. Now, he did just say that this is what he expects, right? So you're like, okay, cool. So he's just speculating. However, over on Fami Boards earlier this week, he literally said, I heard what the format of this Direct is, just not an exact date. Well, now, after Necro Felipe Lima yesterday dropped a rumor about the Nintendo Direct happening on February 15th, he sort of backed that rumor and said, yes, I also heard the Direct is next week. And with him already indicating he already knows the format and some of the games that are in the Direct, him now coming out and saying it's probably a partner showcase really sets the table. If you actually think about Nate the Hate, and while his track record isn't 100%, one thing he's always been fairly, you know, really just accurate with in general are directs. In fact, back in June of 22, he was the only person saying that that was going to end up being a partner showcase, and he was right. None of the other insiders had it right. Nate the Hate had it right. So when he says a direct is probably going to be this certain thing, in this case, a partner showcase, he's worth paying attention to. That is why Nate the Hate is actually in our reliable category on our tier list of insiders and leakers. And Zippo probably needs to be kicked the hell off because even wishful thinking isn't good enough uh, for the, the dribble he's putting out there. Anyways, getting back into what Nate the Hate had to say about this, what's interesting about it being a partner showcase is that that kind of sets the table for something else. And that is the Nintendo Switch 2. So this is where I said, you might be disappointed. It's like not a general direct next week, not a Nintendo Direct Mini, a partner showcase, but maybe you're actually excited because he has now gone on record again, reiterating stuff he said last year, but even more confident today, now that more time has passed. Well, you know what? I don't even want to say it. I'm going to let Nate say it himself and let John Linneman chime in as well. I actually want to go on to the reveal timing for the Switch 2. As last summer, around Tokyo Game Show and Gamescom, I had reported that there were a lot of whispers about something concerning March of 2024. And the issue was yep. just couldn't figure out exactly what March was referring to at that time. Now, as time has gone on, I am of the belief that March is referring to the reveal timing of the Switch 2. We know GDC is coming up in March, and GDC is likely going to be a significant venue that Nintendo is going to meet with partners, talk with partners, and show what the Switch 2 is going to be. So right now, my expectation is Switch 2, reveal, March. Do you think that has merit, or do you think Nintendo could potentially wait a little later into the year to reveal this though? Um, I think that has merit. I, I, you know, I don't think that's necessarily like set in stone or anything. I mean, it's Nintendo; they can do what they want. But I feel like March would be a pretty. It does kind of align with other things that I've heard, at least from the past, and make me think that yeah, maybe this is the right time to do it. Now, as you can see here, they are indicating that, yes, the Nintendo Switch 2 will likely be revealed in March and probably before the Games Developers Conference because Nintendo will want to talk to their partners at that conference more directly about this device rather than just having to pretend it doesn't exist. So that is really awesome. And look, 
obviously just a rumor, but having John Linneman back it up saying that, hey, this kind of lines up with things I've heard in the past, I think that this just strongly indicates with a partner direct next week and this. So if the partner direct is what happens next week, and then we have this, that yes, Nintendo Switch 2 will likely be revealed in March, which is just awesome. It's also very soon. If you're curious on when the Game Developers Conference is, if you want to start to put a more exact time frame for expectation for Switch 2 based on these rumors, the Game Developers Conference actually begins on March 18th. So you're looking at possibly a reveal of Nintendo Switch 2 in the first two weeks of March, which if you think about that, that's like five weeks, <laughs> five weeks away like a month away. So that is utterly insane if what they're saying is true. Now, if you're wondering if they indicated what this is going to be, is it going to be a big blowout or is it just going to be a tease of the system with a blowout to come later? They do believe it'll be a tease, but it's not based on any actual information. They're just making guesses, right? They're like, hey, we think they'll probably tease and do a blowout later. However, Nate the Hate does entertain the fact that what if they just do the blowout in March? So basically, yeah, they expect this thing to be revealed in March. How it's revealed does Nintendo go all out with the reveal? Do they just do a tease and then do a big reveal later? That is something that has not been indicated here. If you want to go check out the rest of his episode, it's pretty cool because they sit there and speculate on a bunch of things they want for Nintendo Switch 2. That's what they spend a majority of the show talking about. It's just things that they want, not things they know, things they want. Uh, and also that, yeah, this must be a pretty powerful machine because they don't think the 8-inch LCD was just to have a bigger screen to tout it over the Nintendo Switch OLED, but rather because the SOC, the chip itself, is bigger and beefier and more powerful. And if you have to make the system bigger, why not have the excuse with an 8-inch screen to give them more real estate on the internals? So I don't know. You guys... Take from that what you will. Again, most of their show is just speculation on what they want, what their desire is, uh, and what they think they should do. But again, Partner Showcase is something that Nate the Hate firmly believes is happening next week. And yes, a reveal next month for Nintendo Switch 2. And I gotta be honest, guys, if a Partner Showcase is what we got next week, regardless of anything Nate the Hate said, it would already make me feel very confident that Nintendo's unveiling Nintendo Switch 2 like really, really soon, like imminently, because again, Nintendo doesn't have a super strong lineup this year. And if all they're going to do is keep dropping all the information and all the ads they need for their current lineup on Twitter and other social media platforms, and then they're just going to have a showcase for indies and third party games, that kind of indicates, yeah, Nintendo is literally leaving all the bullets in the barrel, right? They're, they're, they're loading that barrel up to fire it at some point, and at some point would probably be a Switch 2 because, look, guys, a Switch 2 wasn't coming in 2024. Why wouldn't this be a general direct? Let's just ask yourselves this question. If it's a partner showcase next week and Nate the Hate is correct and his rumor is proven true, then what would Nintendo be doing with a partner showcase when they have hardly any games on their slate if... Switch 2 wasn't coming this year. Does, does that even make sense? Why, If they're going to coast on Switch for another year, they got to announce games. Or they don't. Because they're not going to coast on Switch for another year. I don't know, guys. I'm pretty excited about this stuff. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. You guys are awesome and amazing. As always, I'm trying my best to keep you as up to date on the latest on the Direct, the latest on Switch 2, and other big Nintendo gaming news, rumors, leaks, etc. You know, I know some of you guys get a little tired at times of, it's another Direct, it's another rumor, it's another Switch 2 video. But one thing I will say in my defense, and this is maybe the ultimate defense for what I do, is I firmly believe in keeping you guys as informed on leaks, rumors, and news as I can. And as new information comes to light, as new rumors come to light from reliable places that present themselves forward, like Necro Felipe yesterday, Nate the Hate today, it is something that we need to consider and bring to your attention as it adds further context and belief in certain aspects going on at Nintendo. And I just feel like it's important I give it to you guys, because if I don't, then I feel like I'm just omitting information because, oh, I don't want to talk about this today. <laughs> but, but there's real tangible rumor stuff out there that if I just ignore it, then you're not up to date. I'm the only one that's up to date. That's not a good feeling. I want us to be on the same grounds. Anyways, folks, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.